Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be doing a celebrity reading and we're going to be talking about the Oscars situation with Will Smith and Chris Rock that everybody is talking about. Now I do want to give the disclaimer that when it comes to these celebrity readings, I'm never doing these readings from a space of trying to gossip or trying to be negative. If anything, these readings are meant to be, you know, educational um, because a lot of the times celebrities, you know, people in the public eye, they are specifically in the public eye in order for us as the collective to learn something from them. So that's why when these celebrity scandals happen, you'll go on social media and you'll see people taking things very personally and arguing with each other. Um, it's very rare that a celebrity does something and everyone takes a neutral stance. Like, that rarely ever happens. People usually get very revved up and emotional about these things. And like I said, you'll even see them arguing with each other on social media. And that's because these celebrities are a reflection of um, the collective. They're a reflection of things that are really going on inside of a lot of people. Um, it gives you a deeper insight into the human mind and the human experience. And so there are a lot of higher lessons that we can learn from these celebrities. It doesn't always have to be about, you know, negativity, gossip, drama, and things like that. So just wanted to give that disclaimer and let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Oh, also, I do want to say that I uh, take a neutral stance when it comes to these readings. I try to be as neutral as possible. So no matter which side you're on, um, you can still, you know, receive the messages. I try not to be, you know, biased and insert my own opinion. I just give, you know, what the cards are saying. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first two cards are the eight of cups and the three of cups in the reverse. Okay, so. If any of you are wondering if this situation was staged, it was not. Um, it's very clear that this situation was real. And I'm saying that because I'm seeing that Will Smith burned some bridges with this situation. Like if this was something that the higher ups uh, intentionally made happen in order to boost the Oscar ratings, it wouldn't be showing up as him actually burning bridges. So this is absolutely real. I'm seeing here that... Um, there are some people who are not going to want to work with him in the future. Um, he has lost the respect of a lot of his peers. There are some friends of his. Well, I don't know if they're close friends or like work acquaintances um, that are just they don't want to they just they're not happy with him whatsoever. So, no, this is not staged in case you were wondering. So the next three cards out are the star card, the seven of cups in the reverse. OK, so this is whew, this is heavy energy, actually. And these two cards together, it usually wouldn't read as heavy. But when I tapped into it, this is heavy energy. This is Chris Rock's energy. And like I said, I'm taking a neutral stance on this. But I was actually really shocked at how heavy this energy is. And I couldn't help but feel empathy for Chris Rock. Um, this situation is traumatizing for him. And I don't just throw that word around loosely this situation is traumatizing for him he is in a state right now of realizing what has happened you know how when you go through a traumatic experience and it feels like it's not real it feels like a movie that's the energy that I'm getting and I can relate to that because in the past I've had relationships where I have suffered really terrible abuse and betrayal and every time something would happen I would feel like this cannot be real this cannot be happening to me and that's the telltale sign that you have just been traumatized like you know this is something that's traumatic that just happened to you it's hard to grasp the fact that this is reality and I'm seeing that with Chris it's like he can't believe that that just happened he's still trying to figure out like or he's still trying to grasp everything that went on trying to like go back in his head like basically asking himself like was I wrong was that necessary like he's just very embarrassed his pride is very hurt he feels very alone um everyone pretty much checked up on Will Smith after Chris Rock got slapped and it seemed like nobody really checked up on Chris Rock and it also seems like um it also seems like you know just people just didn't care I feel like he has some sort of childhood wounds that this took him back to like being bullied as a child and having everyone be on the bully side um I'm seeing him having that sort of energy and I, like I said I take a neutral stance on this and even on Twitter, you know, I was laughing at some of the jokes and after tapping into this energy, I feel really bad about laughing. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, 
this energy is very heavy. This is something that he is going to take a very, very long time to recover from. This is something that he's going to carry with him for a very long time. I see him going to counseling. I see him going to like some sort of spiritual advisor, like possibly if he's like a Christian going to church or something like that. Um, but I, I can't help as a highly sensitive person tapped into this energy. I cannot help but to feel bad for him. It doesn't mean that you have to feel bad for him. You're allowed to, you know, take whatever stance you take. But I'm just telling you what I, I see in the cards. Um, whew, yeah, the energy is very heavy. Um so yeah, he is, he is going to, it's going to take a lot of work from him to heal and recover from this. With the two of swords being here as the next card, I am seeing that Chris Rock's intuition was telling him that something was not going to go right at the Oscars. Um, but I feel like he couldn't really, he wasn't really listening to his intuition that well, or he wasn't able to listen to his intuition that well. It's like when you're going through the like life and you are um, experiencing a lot of like busy work days and you know the obligations that we all have um, sometimes it's hard to tap into our intuition and I feel like there was like his higher self or his intuition trying to tell him that something's going to go wrong or he needs to watch what he says that night but he wasn't able to fully hear it because of you know the busy uh, process of, of getting prepared to you know to do his job so I will say that what the collective can learn from him is that they can learn to quiet your mind and meditate before you go out and do anything major like if you're going to a major event or just anything where you're going to be around people quiet your mind and meditate before you leave ask for guidance ask your higher self to let things run as smoothly as possible and to guide you away from any danger or any mishaps um, because that can save a lot of people from um, dealing with very harsh situations that their intuition was trying to you know walk them away from so just be mindful of that um the next two cards out are the page of cups and the the temperance card in the reverse now i will say this um this is will smith's energy and again i really like will smith um i have always been a fan of will smith and his personality but will smith in this reading I, and y'all i'm telling you i'm not being biased in this like i said i you can go on my twitter you can see i was joking and you know all that with Will Smith. So I'm not being biased in this. I'm telling you what I see in the cards. Will Smith, he is unhinged. He is on the inside with, with the page of cups being here in the temperance card. He is completely and totally out of balance. And what happened at the Oscars, he lost control and he lashed out the way that a child would like the way that a child would uh, lash out and not care who's around. Like, you know how when children are in the grocery store and they start throwing um, a tantrum in the grocery store and the, the parents are so embarrassed by it and the child has no awareness that everyone is, you know, looking at them um, or, or, even if they have awareness, they just don't care because it's like a, a emotionally immature response. That's what I'm seeing with Will. It's like there was an emotional immaturity um, there and he ended up lashing out. It looks like he has been suffering for a long time and he has been repressing a lot. Um, this actually stems back to his childhood is what I'm seeing. And if I'm not mistaken, um, I heard something about Will Smith and his his father uh, de uh domestically abusing his mother um you know he had to grow up seeing his father um you know uh abuse his mother pretty much and he said that he felt like a coward all his life because of it because he wasn't able to protect or defend his mother and i do think that will smith by nature he is more of a passive non-confrontational person and so unfortunately with him being a man and being that way he has experienced a lot of disrespect and he has made to, he has been made to feel like less of a man because of the fact that he would rather turn the other cheek and he would rather not you know uh, defend himself he has been labeled as or made to feel like he is less of a man I remember when um, I even remember someone pointing out that in his book Will Smith said that he was jealous of Tupac because of the fact that Jada Pinkett Smith um, looked at Tupac as like this this masculine man and you know you know how Tupac was like Tupac was very masculine he was like very confrontational when need be like Tupac was like yeah Tupac was like that and I think we can all agree and uh Will saw himself as less than compared to Tupac because Tupac is what society would label as a masculine desirable man and Will Smith was more like the goofy nice guy that didn't like confrontation and um that, that got to him it really got to him these are deep wounds that are here and um because he repressed these things for so long he finally snapped and i will say this 
him snapping on Chris Rock, he's going to get karma for that. And again, I'm not being biased. I'm t- the temperance card in reverse. It wasn't even meaning that, okay, basically this is how karma works, right? Someone does something to you and it causes harm to you. So the level of harm that it causes, you are allowed to cause it back as long as it's even. That's what justice is. It's like when someone does something and then they get taken to court. Okay, I sentence you to this many years in jail because that's an even punishment for what you've done, right? Now, where people get messed up at and where they start messing up their karma is that they inflict a punishment that's too harsh. And when you inflict a punishment that's too harsh, that's when you've created bad karma for yourself. You see, that's where the phrase comes from. Um, what's that phrase? Um, their car. What is that phrase? God, whatever I'm channeling, I always forget basic things. Um, how you respond is your karma. Like the way they treat you is their karma. How you respond is your karma. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get karma, bad karma for responding as long as it's even. You see what I'm saying? Somebody curses you out. You curse them out. You're not going to get bad karma from cursing them back out. But if somebody curses you out and then you take a sledgehammer and smack them in the head with it. Yeah. You might just get bad karma. You know what I'm saying? So it has to be even. And what I'm seeing here is that it, unfortunately will has created bad karma for himself because it wasn't even only because he repressed. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, sorry, I had to pause the recording because I got a phone call. But um, what I was saying was, unfortunately, what took place was not even only because Will Will has tolerated so much disrespect for so long that all of this rage and, and anger was built up and he unleashed it all onto Chris Rock. So it's like in order for the karma to have been even, Will would have had to have dished that age that that rage and animosity out um amongst all the people who objected to um subjected him to it but instead he unleashed it all on chris rock um it's kind of like the equivalent of well not the exact equivalent but this is just an example of like if a husband is at work and he's having a really bad day all his co-workers are disrespecting him his boss is disrespecting him but he doesn't say anything to them at all he has to keep on you know turning the other cheek he has to keep on being quiet and then he goes home and his wife says one small thing to him and he snaps and like you know does something to her that would be an imbalance because some of that energy needed to be directed at his boss and his co-workers in order for it to be balanced you see what i'm saying so unfortunately will did create some bad karma. like i can't lie y'all and i I really like will smith actually so i I hate to even see this he's been going through a lot for a long time it's not just you know his dad but it's also just um like i said the situation with tupac and his wife it's also the general public The, the public in general they're always making jokes about will smith and um he how you know he lets another man have sex with his wife and it's just joke after joke after joke and it's like he snapped and can't couldn't take it anymore and unfortunately chris rock got the full weight of all of it i do also want to say that this is very much aries energy in this reading um and it is aries season and mercury is in aries right now and um the low vibration of aries is being impulsive and being violent it's like doing something impulsively especially something violent and then like like doing it and not thinking about it um until afterwards like I just did it and I didn't even think about it until afterwards like that's the energy that's coming up in this chart so he definitely was also influenced by the planets like astrologically there was some influence there as well so um moving forward it looks like Will is just wanting to just start fresh he's wanting to kind of put this behind him even though it just happened (laughs) he's wanting to put it behind him um I am seeing here that um he is not necessarily sorry for what he has done like he's not like man I really regret that I think there is a part of him that regrets the fact that he has tainted his reputation or his image amongst you know people who he would have liked to work with I was picking up that he is wanting to do certain projects to advance his legacy even further and now he's a bit uh 
worried that there are certain people who are not going to want to participate with him and not going to want to work with him. Um, so it looks like in his mind, he's like making a list of all of his allies now, like all of the people who uh, called him, reached out to him and are still supporting him. He's making a list of all those people in his mind because he, now he knows that those are the people who he can still lean on. He can still work with like they don't think any differently of him. But no, for the most part, I don't really see him feeling that uh, remorseful. It probably feels like a release and it probably feels feels justified um which again it's not i'm sorry like i'm not i'm not being biased here it's it's literally in the energy um but i do want to say that yeah chris rock was also in the wrong for making the joke about jada's hair and if that was the driving force behind what will did then it might have been an even balance but when you look at the energy in the cards that wasn't the driving force behind will doing what he did yes a part of it was like i'm protecting my wife but the deep rooted driving force was it of it was i'm sick of feeling like less than a man like that's literally what it is here um who i did not expect this I did not expect this. Um, And we have the four of wands here in the reverse. So this is what the collective can learn from Will Smith. Basically what it's saying is that um, what the collective can learn is to make sure that you are doing your internal work. Make sure that you are, um, you know, unpacking certain things that you are experiencing on a deep level and that you have a release for those things. You have a healthy release for those things because they are going to build up. And also, excuse me, I think that this is also talking about not living in extremes because if you live in one extreme, eventually you're going to have to swing to the other side. So he will lives in this extreme of being the nice guy all the time always turning the other other cheek always being positive and the exact opposite of that is what you saw on the Oscars when he smacked slapped Chris Rock and yelled in front of everybody that's the exact opposite extreme and so when you're living life on one extreme you're going to have to be on the other extreme at some point it's just the way things work see that's exactly why I don't try to be an angel whatsoever. I don't try to be like a goody, goody two shoes. I just, I simply don't because that's just not who I am. And I know that if I were to try to put on that persona, I would have to suppress so much. Like if you follow me on Twitter, I don't take too kindly to disrespect. Y'all know that if y'all follow me on there, like I don't, do not mind responding to a troll comment or two. I try to keep it to a minimum because you know, out of respect for my followers, they don't want to be seeing drama all the time on my page. Like that's, that's draining. No one wants to see that all the time. But for the most part, I don't have no problem standing up for myself. I don't try to present myself as like an angel and like a, this, this spiritual guru, because like I said, I would have to suppress so much if I didn't defend myself, if I didn't speak up, if I wasn't, you know, as vocal as I am, I would have to suppress so many of my emotions. And I can only imagine the monster that that would create inside of me that would be unleashed at some point. And so I feel like I don't live in extremes. I live kind of in a a middle area of, yes, I'm a compassionate person. Yes, I'm an an empathetic person. And that side of me is 100% authentic. But I am also, you know, a very feisty person. I will clap back if I need to. You know, some days I have, you know, I have an attitude. Some days I don't feel good. And I express all of that. So I, I never, I rarely experience experience in an extreme where people are like oh my god I didn't expect that from you like I rare I never really experienced that because I'm always kind of just living in that that middle area and I'm just I'm comfortable with my with my shadow and I don't repress my feelings so be very careful about operating in extremes um you have to know yourself you have to know your needs you know And sometimes our needs require us to have a safe space to express those feelings instead of trying to repress them in order to keep up an image. You see what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, this this reading was more heavy. I feel like such an asshole because I was laughing at the jokes and now that I tapped into Chris Rock's energy, I'm like, sheesh, I should not have been laughing at that. But I like I don't know I just didn't know um I did also pull a couple cards for Jada's energy I wasn't really picking up on much of anything with her um I do I did see that she thinks very highly of Will now like she was he was coming up as the king of pentacles in her energy so he she thinks very highly of him you know she thinks like um 
like he's like a, a king like that was king energy um she is kind of concerned about the professional aspect of it and if it's going to affect any of his projects moving forward or any of her projects moving forward um she she is a little bit worried about that but she's taking on more of the stance of like we will cross that bridge when we get there but i um i i just i don't see much from jade like her her energy is very uh flat i don't really feel much emotion from her in all honesty so yeah um that's all you know i'm definitely praying for everyone involved in this because this was a very heavy energy reading to do and it's just i just hate to see anybody going through all of this and and i did also i believe i also was picking up that chris rock has some sort of mental health issue that makes it difficult for him to like um I guess I guess you could say it's like pick up on social cues because the two of swords and the Aquarius card is like socially awkward or like something like that. I don't know. Like leave a comment in the comment section if you can give some insight into that, because I also feel like I'm tapping into Chris Rock, his mind working a little bit differently from other people's. And so him not being able to fully understand like what's happening and, and ma- that making the situation even more difficult to process so i just i I don't know this it's a lot um i hope that this was helpful y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below please don't be in the comment section arguing people like please don't because everyone is really up in arms over this we can have differences of opinion and be respectful you know so i love you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video